called you a racist? Not once. Not once have I been called a racist. Not once. That kind of surprises me. I'm just sort of wondering how how do you think you've escaped that? Hmm. Are people critical of this? Uh, yeah, I think a lot of scientists, their first knee-jerk reaction is, is that the poor masses out there aren't intelligent enough to handle this sort of information. They'll start climbing over one another and killing th themselves so that we, the, you know, the smart ones, need to sort of obfuscate. And I don't think that works very well. People may be a lot smarter than we might give them credit for being. I think he's on to something there. I what mean, do you mean? Uh, well, there is a tendency that people have when this subject comes up to say, shh, shh we don't talk about that. Yeah. I think people can talk about the real world and real differences respectfully and even with a certain amount of delicious interest. Sure. Yeah. Well, you say sure, but there are lots of shushers everywhere. You're not going to get me to stand on the side of shushing. <laughs> it's just, I mean, science complicates things. Even now, this whole, you know, definition that science has of race being like ancestry or whatever, it just, it, it just doesn't jive with how people live race. You mean how people talk about it really? Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay, look, okay no. here. Take a look at this photo. This one here? Yeah. Yeah. You see the guy there? Yes. What race do you think he is? He's black. Definitely black? Definitely. Oh, yeah. How black is he? How black is he? What kind of a question? Yeah, just for a visual. Black, black. How about Obama black? No, he's not. He's blacker than that. So he's unequivocally black, right? Well, I don't know. My parents taught us, because they came from a segregated South, you were either black or you were white. There was no in-between. So the guy you're looking at, the guy we just heard, mm -hmm. that's Wayne Joseph. He's an education director in L.A., and he also, on the side, writes essays about race mostly for national magazines. And one day, a couple years back, he was watching TV. And I happened to see a TV program highlighting the fact that a couple of DNA labs were actually doing racial testing on DNA. Light bulb went on. I said, well, this will be perfect for this essay. He thought he'd test himself, see what percentage of him was black versus other stuff, and then write about it. But what, what, what number did you think you would be? The, the number I was thinking was 70 or 75 percent or more. 75 percent African and 25 percent. Who knows what? So I sent away for the kid. Swapped both cheeks, put it in a vial, sent it back. And then, a few weeks later, I get back the results. First thing I did was I checked the kit number to make sure that they hadn't made a mistake and sent me someone else's results. But the kit number matched. I couldn't believe it. 57% Indo-European, 39% Native American, 4% Asian, and 0% African. Zero percent, as in, as in zero, mm -hmm. nothing. I mean, I've, I've lived 50 years as a black man, and I have no African genetically. How did you make sense of that? Did, you, did it sink in all at once? Um, no, what, what happened was after a couple of days, I hadn't told my wife anything yet. I went to see my mother, and I said, look, there's only one really logical explanation I can live with. It's okay. I love you. Just tell me the truth. I'm adopted. <laughs> she kind of giggled and she said, look, I can remember every pain I had having you. I can still remember it. I said, well, but then this doesn't make any sense. She said, yeah, it's a little surprising, but I'm too old, too tired to be anything else. <laughs> so that's just the way it is. For my brother, when I told him the results, he said, Wayne, that's your DNA, that's not my DNA. I'm a black man, and that's the end of it for him. Hmm. What about your wife? Well, my second wife happens to be Jewish. Her response was, what do you mean? You're a black man. I, I defied my mother to marry you. Y you've got to be black. Whoa. So she needed you to be black. Absolutely. Because she had told her mother at the time, look, I'm marrying Wayne. You're going to have to decide whether you're going to accept him or lose your daughter. It, it really threw me for a loop. You start thinking about your life. There are certain decisions that are made in life based on who you think you are. Would I have married a black woman the first time? Would I have decided to go to a black high school? Do you have answers to those questions? Would you have married a black woman? Would you have gone to a black high school? Maybe not. 
how different would my life have been if I'd have known this 45 years ago? Wayne Joseph is the director of alternative education for the Chino Valley School District in California.